I've got a question for you. Why do we have two different composites? Now we have the flowable composites and the sculptable composites. So we know we use the sculptable composites because they're more highly filled. They have better physical properties, typically polish better. But then we also have the flowable composites because they're less filled, they're more runny. And if I place that in my preparation, I can line the internal aspect, get great adaptation to the tooth and the, and the preparation. And then over my flowable, I'll place my sculptable. But what if we could take these two, the properties of the uh, sculptable and the properties of the flowable, and combine them? How do we do that today? We warm our composite. So this is a phaser composite warmer from Vista Apex. And what we can do with the phaser is we can quickly warm our compules of composite. Let me show you how that works. Now, you take your compule, you place it inside the nose cone of the phaser. Now, if we were using this in a real live clinical situation, we could put a plastic barrier that is made for the phaser over it. But in this case, I'm not gonna do that just so you could see the actual phaser better. Now on the back, we have a power on button and we can adjust the temperatures. So I, I won't go through the specifics, but I just want to know that that is possible. Now I will tell you, when I first got my phaser and I took it out of the box, I was excited. And like any other toy, what do you do? You take it out of the box and you try to turn it on. Well, if you don't have the compule in the phaser, it has a sensor here that there's no compule there and it's gonna just shut off. And I remember when I first got my phaser, pulled out of the box, still had a slight charge in it, right? Didn't have to charge it yet. And I activated it and I saw the power go on and it clicked back off. Tried again, tried again, got the same response. I thought I got a dud. Well, it would have helped if I had read my quick start guide. So, might be something just to be aware of. But now when you have this, Again, pop the compule in, and it, it'll handle just about every compule out there. And once you have the compule in there, now the, uh, the phase will heat up. Now the great thing about this is you have multiple temperature settings. If you go back to your quick start guide, you can actually look at the chart, and depending on what brand of composite you use, it tells you which heat setting you should use. Now as it's going, um, you can see it is cordless at this point. We do hook it into a cord when we do want to charge it, but when we are using it, it is cordless. And so this just shows that it is in the heating phase right now. In about 45 seconds, we're gonna have our composite come in the compule set and ready to go. So the phaser uh, is able to get to all corners of the mouth. Just gonna show how you can get up to the upper right tooth right in there. So you can get to all areas of the mouth. And I know, although we don't have uh, cheeks here, you can clinically get into all the different areas. So you can see if I had lower right, if I want to come more from the front and get up to the upper right, if I want to come in more on the upper left, I could still get up into that area. And there are step down tips. So once this sculptable composite is warmed up, again, it's going to flow very, very well. And so you can actually use these step down tips, which I'll show you. We can screw that onto the compule, and if you have these little micro preps, a very concerted preparation, the heated sculptural composite can be expressed from the compule. So the step down tip will extend the compule nozzle by about 12 millimeters. And all you do is you just take the compule and the step down tip and just screw on the step down tip. It just kind of threads into the compule tip. And now you can see we have the extension. Now this composite, once it's warmed up, is gonna flow like a flowable composite, so it's gonna to adapt to our balls of our preparation as the flowable did. But then it, as it cools, it's gonna, again, have the properties of our sculptable composite because that's really what it is. So we get the best of both worlds. Now, some of you have the bench top composite warmers, and what's the disadvantage of those? Well, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your standard composite compu with the st standard composite gun, put in the warmer. It's gonna take a few minutes for it to heat up. Then when you pull that out of the warmer, immediately the composite begins to cool off. And if you're like me, I like to keep my dental office fairly cool, so it's gonna cool very rapidly. The advantage of the phaser is the phaser is keeping this composite compu warm. So I'm gonna express it into the patient's tooth, put it down on the countertop, it's gonna stay on, it's gonna keep warming the composite so it's not gonna cool off. 
I'm going to grab it or be handed the phaser, go back to the patient's tooth, and it's going to be ready to go. Now, one of the um, workflow issues that I, I want to illustrate is with the phaser, we only have one compule. And what if we're doing a multiple compule type of, of case? All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the workflow issue because the phaser can only warm one compule at a time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to simulate that we are filling a large cavity in a posterior tooth that's going to require multiple compules. And I'm going to express the entire contents of this compule out. I'm going to give it to my assistant. My assistant will change the compules, keep the uh, phaser running so it will be warming compule number two. And as I'm contouring the composite here and curing it, we'll see how long um, that takes. So, okay, so let's say we're coming in here on, on tooth number 14 or the 26, and I express out all our composite there, and I'm gonna start the timer. I'm gonna hand the phaser to my assistant. I would then come back in and pack that composite into the box. I'm gonna contour it. I'm going to shape it up a little bit to get the occlusal anatomy. And if I had some seam-free composite wetting resin, I would wet my instrument and just come back in here just to make sure that everything was well adapted. And then I would just give it with the uh, pink wave curing light, the quad wave curing light. I'm just going to come in here and we're going to cure. We are now at 47 seconds. In that 47 seconds of time that it took me to place the composite contour it, our next compule, if you heard that beep, is now warm. So now we're now we are enabled to go on to compule number two. So you can see if we've got the workflow down, we're not gonna really skip a beat. At this point, it's been a, a minute and eight seconds from the time I handed my assistant the phaser. So what I hope you can see is we're able to get the advantages of a flowable composite and the sculptable composite just using our warm sculptable composite and the phaser composite warmer. Give it a try.